Hey guys, welcome to season 11, episode 2 of Criminal Minds. Here we go. AM 530. Hello? Charlie, I've been calling you for hours. Are you on the bus? No, I had an early meeting, remember? Where have you been? I told you I needed to clear my head. So I went for a drive. Some murder? Well, I can't show you any favoritism because we're married. I'm going to have to dock you 10 points off your quarterly eval. Do we have to? Charlie, what is going on? Are you jealous because I got the promotion and you didn't? I'm not jealous about your job. I made a mistake. It was a one-time thing. I wish I could believe that. Oh. You were looking for reasons to stay angry. I just want what we used to have. It's my park. had this strange obsession with talcum powder and butterflies. So he would sprinkle talcum on all of his food and then carry a dead butterfly in his pocket everywhere he went. It's amazing you were able to find something that you could identify with. Well, I had to. I met with him every week for a year. It was the only way to establish a therapeutic alliance. We were both obsessed with fossils when we were kids, and both of our mothers attended the same elementary school class. A bizarre coincidence, right? What's a coincidence? Tara's mom went to the same elementary school as a truck stop strangler's mom. Okay, that's a little creepy, so yeah. Minutes ago, there was a poison gas attack on a City Link commuter bus in Los Angeles. Ten confirmed dead so far. Do we know what it was? Has not just gotten seen. What are you guess? Was used recently in Syria. Maybe it's connected. It also reminds me of the attack on the Tokyo subway. Religious cult members carried plastic bags of sarin and punctured them with umbrella tips. Did was this not the guy at the very beginning that was digging? Charlie, you're okay. It's a poison attack. It's uh, horrible. Yeah, I'll say. Pretty damn lucky. Mayor of Boston and LAPD have issued a citywide What? Suspicious suspect of poison gas attack. The Oh, she's not in the squad yet. It is in your moments of decision that your destiny is shaped. Tony Robbins. Oh, crime fighters, I just got confirmation from the LA field office that traces of sarin were found. The religious cult responsible for the Tokyo subway attack 20 years ago is also still active. Very much so, but they split into two different branches with different names. There's a... Collateral damage may mask the real target. Garcia, look into the victims and also anyone online claiming responsibility. I captain. Damn. Messenger dropped us off for you. So you he did go. kill somebody. That was that had to have been him at the beginning. Did he kill the people in the bus? It's been a long time. Natalie, uh, congratulations on the transfer. Nice way to start a new job, huh? Tell me about it. Agent Colfax, this is Dr. Tara Lewis. Nice to meet you. Nice to say Derek Morgan. Thanks for coming out. We made six stops for London Park, which is where the crash occurred. What about the locals affiliated with the former mm. religious cult in Japan? They all claim they broke ties with their leader after he was sentenced and have denounced terrorism. 
And that's a convenient thing to say when the FBI is questioning you. Uh -huh. True, but they're also part of a subgroup that made the same statement publicly back in 2007. Ah, okay, so we have some more information on the victims. Two are students at Allegra College. One's an accountant, one works for an insurance company. Three work at the city clerk's office, one is a teacher, but this is interesting. Michael Hoffman was a freelance journalist who previously worked in Syria. Over a hundred journalists have been killed there since the Civil War began. Interesting. Syria is so fast and deadly, how can someone release it without harming themselves in the process? Mm -hmm. Excellent question. The, the cult members in Tokyo wore surgical masks, and even with them, some of them were still injured. I'm guessing that Texas found this, stuck under seat in the third row. It tested positive for sand residue. Looks like some kind of time-release device. Looks homemade. Battery upgrade. It reminds me so of this was targeted fish food feeder. or it works. With planned. a fish food feeder, there's a disc inside with multiple slots, and each slot is filled with fish food. As the disc rotates, the food is released at very specific times. My so someone could have planted that a long time ago. Yeah. How long ago? My fish food feeder lasts six weeks, so theoretically, <laughs> man could have left all the slots empty except for the very last one and waited six weeks for the center to be released what the hell it means when you look at everyone that got on and off that bus for the last month and a half what that's All so right, many you. possible damn so if the device was homemade maybe the serum was too oh that'd be difficult hey what you got baby girl someone described michael hoffman the journalist victim as cowardly for leaving syria in 2011 just when the trouble started but one man's cowardice is another man's wise risk aversion. Garcia, I need you to look in the LA area for any chemists with extremist views, especially any that might have been under stress, marital, financial, etc. Okay, chemists under mucho stress. I am on it. Thanks. I just don't know if this is the guy who did the bus. Because he seems shocked about that. Hello? Wrong answer, Charlie. Do you really think you can get away with it? I know what you're talking about. Who is this? I'm your best friend. Or your worst enemy. It's up to you. I'm texting you an address. I need you to break in and get a laptop. Wait, wait, wait. Break in? Are you crazy? Are you really one to judge? Listen to me. No. You listen to me. You know that sweet daughter of yours, Jolene? You love her, don't you? What? You want to see her graduate? You should have thought of that before you committed murder. You're a real mystery, Charlie. You got quite a dark streak. Charlie. You could have been killed this morning. If you got on that city link. You're so lucky. I think it's the guy who did, who killed the people on the bus, or the the one's call, is the guy calling him? But how did he know that I he know killed that somebody? Hokey, but... Assuming this wasn't a fresh batch of sand, where would you get the stuff being made? Technically nowhere, after the UN banned the use of chemical weapons, so she lost to her phone. Her by 2007. Go ahead, Garcia. I can't bear information gifts. There are many chemists in the LA area, but one in particular is Johan Geitman. He was fired two months ago from Holder Industries for online gambling at work. So you asked us to look at surveillance near areas of the city link stops. We picked this up from the commuter parking lot at the Victory Depot this morning. According to the time marker, he parks here, just before bus 290 arrives. Then he leaves, and then he returns to his car a few minutes later. So he never got on the bus. Nope, running the license plate now. It's back in his car, he's holding something. What is that? He exposed the center right now. So okay, he could be the one that killed him. Charles Sutterack. He lives in Simi Valley and works at Banning Medical Supply. The bus that was attacked with Saren this morning stopped at that station, so we have to look at anything unusual. Wait, you think I had something to do with a Saren attack? We just want to know what you were doing in your car, because the bus came and went while you were still there. Uh, Tracy had an early morning manager's meeting, and I had a late night. I was trying to clean myself up, and um, I just wasn't paying attention when the bus left. What were you doing last night? Went to a bar, the Old Sea Tavern, and then for a long drive. Hmm. You're white.
wife is Jesus. It was uh, my mother's birthday, and she died a few years ago, so I was feeling depressed, that's all. One of your co-workers said that you were acting strangely today. I just said I was depressed. About your mother? Yeah. Any other reason with your work or marriage? Something about the marriage. No. Come on. Everything's fine. Look, I'm sorry I'm acting strange on the day that there's a sarin attack, but it's just a coincidence. You think he's telling the truth? About the sarin attack? Yes. He's lying about something. I just can't put my finger on it. Not much we can do about that, though. Oh, you'd be surprised. <laughs> Garcia, we need you to confirm Charlie Cinerac's alibi. Interesting. Definitely killed somebody. I just don't think he had anything to do with the attack. What the hell is that? Oh, you're screwed. Like Geitman camped out here for a while. What the? Was he making Saren here? Why is he, he trying to set there. him up? We killed Geitman, took his computer. Uh, probably got evidence. There's a reasonable chance that whoever killed Geitman stopped there, so we should pull surveillance footage of damn it. I'm on it. Oh my god, we're gonna go back to him. Geitman's former employer, Holter Industries, is one of the oldest chemical companies around. They were a major supplier of Saren to the U.S. military in the 1950s. I know you said all stockpiles should have been destroyed by 2007, but what if they weren't? What if Holder Industries still had some? I okay, don't know where it was. The Unsa bought it from him and then killed him so he couldn't talk. Which means chances are good the Unsa was more sarin than what was used. Gavin may have been a supplier working on his own, or he may have been a part of a partnership that soured. We're looking for any information regarding Gavin's recent whereabouts or any individuals he may have had contact with. Perhaps in his late 30s, possibly 40s. Can I have another one, Dad? Dad? What? Can I have another pancake? Yeah. Yes. Pancake? The contained nature of the attack could mean that a partnership is falling apart and that only a portion of the plan was carried out. This is interesting. Dad! Therefore, something much larger in scale is being played. The longer the sunset remains free, the more emboldened he will be to launch another attack. We need to monitor all modes of public transportation and increase patrols at airports and train and bus terminals. Thank you. Did you get the laptop? Yeah, but you didn't tell me there'd be a dead man there. I didn't know. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. You just linked me to a murder. <laughs> what the hell do you want? Leave my wife alone. If you gave her what she needed, maybe she'd leave me alone. Interesting. Your secret is safe with Hey Charlie, it's seven fifteen. Don't you need to take that beautiful daughter of yours to school? Daddy, we're gonna be late. Okay, honey. I'm sending you an address. You need to be there at four today. Interesting. Well, we were right. Gretchen was interested in holding industry Sarah's stock. We interviewed a supervisor who said he asked about it two months ago. We reviewed the surveillance footage from the gas station near the cabin. You're not going to believe what we found. A red Subaru was there yesterday evening, just after 10 p.m. Let me guess, it was driven by our very own Charlie Senorak? Yep. Mm. Garcia, what did you find out about Charlie Senorak? Charlie reminds me of the color beige. Not that there's anything wrong with the color beige, aside from the fact that it's the only color I look bad in. He's worked uh, for the last 14 years as a sales associate at Banning Medical Center. Team manager, they have a 12 year old daughter, Jolene. He has no criminal record. He has no traffic tickets. His social media posts are just like, he's beige. <laughs> this guy doesn't fit our profile at all. Huh. Garcia, any recent purchases that stand out? Handgun, ammunition? No, nothing I can see. Except the last three months, he has a lot of credit card charges to a marriage counselor. So he lied about his marriage being fine. What's his mother's birthday? Can I stop? January 10th. And not two days ago, like he said. 
So what else is Charlie Got him. about? So who was that? Theo Katranis' brother. Theo's missing. No one knows where he is. Maybe it is too late for us. If you leave, you can't have Jolene. I won't let you take her away from me. Damn. Go ahead, Penelope. Uh, Charlie Sennark isn't beige at all. He's a verdant green. A month ago, he went on this ranty Facebook post about men who cheat with married women. Then early yesterday morning, he deleted it. I was just able to uncover it. And his internet search history, hot magma of, of homicidal rage. Woo, woo, woo. Maybe Charlie found out his wife was having an affair. If that's the case, he could be spiraling and lashing out at the world. Can I help you? We're looking for Charlie Senorak. I'm his wife. Is something wrong? We're with the FBI. We're just looking to follow up with him. Where is he? He left uh, half an hour ago. I think he had a meeting with a client. <laughs> yeah. A client. What is going on? <laughs> setting him up. That's kind of smart. That's not like Charlie at all. You were having an affair, weren't you? <laughs> You'd be surprised what someone with a broken heart will do. Who was it with? Theo Katranis. Did Charlie know that? He thought it was already over. But Theo was... resistant. Oh boy. Oh my... It looks like Theo sent you a text two days ago. Meet me at the Desert Bloom Inn, 10 p.m. room. Read. No, I never, I never got this. Charlie had your phone, which means that he saw it. So he knew you were still having an affair. Maybe he went to confront Theo. He said he was driving around. That was the night before the attack. Tell us more about Theo Petronas. Oh, everything is falling into him. Oh, but that's... I don't know what's going on. Are you driving, Charlie? You're setting me up. You're making it look like I'm responsible for the Saren attack, but you did it. Who the hell are you? You're imagining things. No, no, you, 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 you made me pick up a gas mask and a hazmat suit. You made me steal. You think I'm an idiot? Huh? Damn you! I think you're a man without any options, Charlie. No, that's where you're wrong. No, the FBI is offering a million dollar reward for information. Hey, I can give them, I can give them the cell phone and they can probably trace it back to you. They record every conversation. <laughs> I need to calm down. No, no, you do not get to tell me what to do anymore. And I'm not going to be your best. Shut up, Charlie, and listen to me. Listen carefully. Damn. I've been watching you all along. You set the wheels in motion the second you murdered Theo. <laughs> That's wild. Talk to me, Penelope. You were right, handsome Italian man. Theo Katranis <laughs> is more than just a lover boy. His name used to be Theo Martin. He grew up in the Heaven's Mission cult compound in southern Utah. He was one of 50 
50 illegitimate children of the cult leader who what? had vehement anti-government views. Oh, sure. And eight years ago, he moved here with his half-brother, Mitchell Crossford. Uh, Mitchell blogged about launching terrorist attacks here in the United States. What? He was part up until three months ago. Three months ago is right around the time Theo started having an affair with Tracy Senorak. Twice a day, every day, Mitchell has called Theo. Theo only answered once, and the last text Mitchell sent him was, You can't run away. I know Everything you do. Oh you know, my! Pick up everything you can about the brother Mitchell Cross. Oh my! The two brothers were planning a terrorist attack together until they had a falling out over Tracy Senorak. What if Mitchell Cross was his father's brother and trying to bring him back into the fold? Which means he also could have witnessed Charlie murder Theo. So that means that. We sent agents to the last location where Theo Petronas' cell phone pinged. They just found what looks like a shallow grave about a mile into the desert, just west of Desert Blue Men. I'll go check it out with Rossi. Wow, this is wild. Go ahead, Garcia. Mitchell Crossford was definitely the alpha in the relationship. He and his mother left the cult compound when he was 10. They moved to Phoenix. He was in a leaky old apartment crying in Theo. Mm -hmm. Until Theo fell in love with Tracy Senator. Mm -hmm. Guys, Tracy rode the city link bus frequently. Uh, what if in addition to testing out a stock, Mitchell planted the sarin there to kill her? Mitchell witnessed the murder of Theo, realized he could turn Charlie into a patsy. And Charlie obviously rides the same bus as his wife, so he already looked culpable. Ah, get out if Mitchell is this manipulative, then he sent Charlie to the cabin where the dead chemist was found to make it look like he had committed the murder. Uh huh. And then he called in an anonymous tip to establish his innocence and an alibi. Uh huh. An alibi for what just happened? Or what he's planning next? Yep. We go see That's it. What are Mitchell's specific He felt the government needed to pay for what they did in Waco and to the FLDS profit warned Jeffs. Well, that means the FBI is enemy number one. He's coming here. <laughs> already there. control of our own existence. In some ways we are, in some ways we're not. We are ruled by the forces of chance and coincidence. Oof. Paul Auster. That was good. That was a good episode. Speaking of which, what do you think of Synchronicity? It's my favorite police album. No, I, I mean uh, events that seem significantly related but have no discernible causal connection. The fact that your mom and the truck stop stranger's mom were in the same elementary school class really got me thinking. 
really strange is that one would have a child who grew up to be a serial killer, the other would have a child that grew up to be an FBI profiler, and that the two of you would meet someday. That's yeah. crazy. When you meet your soulmate, remember that the act to bring you together was 500 years in the making. So always appreciate and be kind to each other. That's lovely. There's a corollary for friends. When you meet a true friend, you will be bound together through space and time for 500 years. In the year 2200, I'm the kid will be back for that practical joke you played on me last week. Bring it, pretty boy. I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> I'll be there. All right, that's time. Nice. Uh, well, this one's pretty simple. Terrorism. We know the sentencing for that. Uh, however, the other guy is, uh, he's gonna get a murder charge. It's gonna be about 10 to 15 years. Um, Mike can get something lower. It's possible. Um, but, yeah, that's gonna be about what he gets. Like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you have not already. I will see y'all next time.